Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mallorca Under the Sun. Now I thought I would just jump on here today to talk about what is all over the news and that is that the UK government is attempting and will probably bring into law the ban on international travel within the next few days. So what does that mean? That means that anybody caught trying to go on holiday could well face a £5,000 fine. But it also means that nothing much has changed and currently there is a lot of discussion around extending this ban beyond the proposed end date which should be on the 17th of May. But I want to stress that with all the experts commenting in the press at the moment that nothing has actually been decided. So what are the scenarios to allow travel this summer? Well, in my opinion, I think there may well be a traffic light system which could be set up um, depending on whether the vaccination programme has been accelerated and whether there can be some agreement between countries to allow tourism. And will this include Spain? I mean, it's just too soon to say. And today I listened to a clubhouse meeting with travel industry professionals who proposed the lobbying of backbench MPs in the UK to keep the travel industry at the forefront of the political agenda agenda because it's not just destinations like Mallorca who depend on international tourism, it's also cities like London, Manchester and Edinburgh. So my message today is just don't lose hope because there seems to be a lot of political posturing between the EU and the UK with regards to vaccine supply and the cynical amongst us may well think that this could be a threat from the UK to say that they will be withholding tourism from the EU this summer but let's just wait and see. So I think it's fair to say that it is turbul turbulent times here in the travel industry, not just in the um, not just in Mallorca, but also in other European destinations. And while I don't expect tourism to go ahead in the same way that it has done a couple of years ago, I do still think that we are going to have some form of a summer season. And I think that is going to be from the higher end tourism and from wealthier tourists coming into the island who don't mind paying for the additional PCR tests on arrival and on, um, on entry back to their own country as well. So um, looking at the website, for example, of the Residencia in Dea, and you can see that their opening date is the, at the end of April. And with rooms retailing for 900 euros a night, I can't imagine that our politicians that have been working so hard to keep everyone going will not want to be taking a break in a destination like this. So I think that we can look forward to at least having some kind of update with regards tourism in some way going ahead this summer. So what's the update from here in Mallorca in regards to tourism? Well, no sooner were the Germans welcomed back onto the island, the new lockdown restrictions were imposed in Germany. However, German tourism has not been banned in the same way in Mallorca as it has been to tourists coming from the UK. So once again, none of this makes any sense whatsoever. And what is even crazier is that no sooner were the restaurants able to open the inside space to diners than these doors have been slammed once again shut just days after being allowed to open and any restaurant not getting this latest government memo could face massive fines and even possible closure. So as you can imagine the pressure on businesses here on the island to stay afloat is astronomic. And don't forget too, there's a glimmer of hope that uh, later summer bookings and autumn bookings will go ahead as well. So, you know, let's just keep all our fingers crossed here and watch this space and try and avoid too much chatter that's going on in the media at the moment because the story has been sensationalised and it is absolutely impossible to make any firm decisions at the moment. So let's just wait and see. Okay, so um, thanks for listening to my update and if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please do so because I will keep bringing you these updates from the island as and when I have them and I'll also keep doing my resort walkarounds and my town walkarounds and I'll bring you some extra additional advice as well about moving to Mallorca. So um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.